Hello there everybody, this is Ananya and today we will be building a recommendation system. Now whenever we think about recommendation systems, we get an idea such as recommending movies or books or commonly bought items. But today we will be doing something slightly different. We have heard about many, many uh, travel websites wherein we can uh, browse hotels and locations and book our next favorite trip. So on my behalf, I haven't really done the research. If they recommend uh, next trip locations, let's say you can visit this place since you visited some other place, right? Some statements such as that. I haven't done the research if they already do this recommendation. They probably already do. But we will be doing something very similar. We will be trying to replicate that. That is building a recommendation system to recommend locations based on whatever you might have visited previously. So let's go about it and I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. So this is something that you can integrate into a website, an algorithm that can be integrated. So we'll, we'll be just building a subset of our entirely big project. So this entire cell uh, filled with all the imports that we need for our project. I will be putting it into a text file and attaching the link below. So just directly go ahead and um, paste that. You don't have to sit and write everything. And we basically need library. In case you do not have them pip installed, please just go ahead and install libraries such as uh, NumPy, Pandas, then Matplotlib, Seaborn, and Scikit-learn. These four or five uh, you will be needing and also go ahead and install GeoPy. All right. So in case you miss out on anything, don't worry, it will give you the error. So you can just go ahead and pip install it again. This being done, let me give you a quick view as to how my CSV file actually looks like. So this is it. It has just one field. Uh, in a real life scenario, you would have many different fields such as user IDs and location IDs and stuff like that. So what I have here is India, Indian cities. OK, into the field location, I have added various Indian cities and there might be a chance that uh, there are repetitions of the cities too. So I will be attaching this uh, CSV file in the description too. So go ahead and access that and that might be of help to you. Next, let's go ahead and actually see the library GeoPy in play. I am only concentrating on the country India and hence I've explicitly mentioned so. The reason being uh, there might be clashes with the city names of India uh, and elsewhere around the world. There is a very high possibility that there are similar city names. So on the safer side, just to be on the safer side, we mentioned the country name India. So what our idea of the project is, we first take the city names, get their latitudes and longitudes using GeoPy. Next, apply K-means algorithm on it to create clusters of cities. And lastly, get our recommendation. It's as simple as that. So a quick run through, I will also be providing this cell to you. So just to avoid unnecessary typing. So latitude and longitude become some lists. In an object geolocator, I initialize the nominatum class. The user agent can be basically anything. You write your name, A, B, C, D, anything works. It just it does not have to be a specific name. I just put trips. Now you loop through city names dot values and location becomes your city name plus the country name. And you get the geo code of that. Then latitude. Um, to latitude list, I am appending location dot latitude, and similarly to the longitude list, I'm appending location dot longitude. That's as simple as that. Now, what I'm doing is now you can go ahead and do a little bit of typing. Uh, in the data frame, I am creating two new columns named latitude and longitude, wherein I am substituting it with the lists latitude and longitude, respectively. So now, after we go ahead and get our new columns in the data frame. I want to only extract latitude and longitude. OK, so let's see what that gives us. And I'm storing it in a variable L2. And there you go. I only have longitude and latitude. I do not want to concentrate on the city names right now. So this is some indexing that you need to perform. Start from the end, minus 1 up to minus 3 with a skip value of minus 1. 
Great. Now we come to our k-means algorithm. So what I'm doing is I have taken the value of 5. My logic behind it was taking north, south, east and west India. So 4. And I'm taking another one for central India, hence 5. Okay. This is what I, that is how I thought of it as. Okay. So what we do is um, take k-means take k-means and pass the number of clusters that is 5 and we fit into it our previous latitude and longitude data frame the one that we created right out here with the variable l2 this being done after we have put it into the algorithm we want to do the prediction task of it so what we do is k-means.fit predict and we again pass l2 into it this will give us the clusters in return now, if I go ahead and print out a list of the identified clusters for you, this is what is going to give us. I hope you're simultaneously coding so that you do not fall behind. And there you go. For each city that we have, it has given us values 0 through 4. And we will be checking out as to how good that is in just a while. And again, what I simply do is I create a new column in the data frame named location clusters and I substitute it with the clusters that is being predicted. Now let's have a look as to how our data frame currently looks like. Okay, there you go. So we have location clusters, latitude, longitude and the location. All right, now um, let's take an input city name from the user. And this could be something like in an actual website taking the historical data of a user's trips, where, is, where they have booked hotels or where they have visited such and some, something like that. And into clusters, what I'll be doing is I want to get the location cluster value. That is a, basically the cluster value of the input city. So this is the statement that I write. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and give you all the data or let's say the code of this cell too, so that you all do not have to go and write too much. Let us have a quick view as to how cluster looks like. I'm going to say Hyderabad. Hyderabad is a city in South India. Okay, so it does, so it, it gives us the value one and it's give, coming twice because I have Hyderabad twice in my data set. So how do I extract the value one now? Using the index of the value, let's say we have provided zero. So I look, I lock will give us the value at position zero. Difference between lock, lock and I lock. We use lock whenever we have the label of the field, and we use I lock whenever we just have the index. That's the only difference. One lock will be for strings. I lock will be for numbers great now cluster is done let's go ahead and show you what we get and we do get one let's move ahead in cities now what my intention is to take locations or rather say we get the locations wherever the cluster is one and that's it let's have a quick view of how cities looks like and i have it copied this time and there you go you have all of these cities being recommended to you. So what we did out here is um, we are basically running a for loop. And uh, since the city name Hyderabad repeats itself, it's going to be coming in the recommendation too. That is something we don't want. Hence, we see in the loop if it is equal to Hyderabad, if the city name is Hyderabad, then skip it. Otherwise, using iLock, just simply print the city name, right? And that's basically it. We have done our recommendation successfully here. I'm going to go ahead and show you how correct this recommendation actually is. Hyderabad, let's go to the Indian map. And here we come. And I'm going to go ahead and try and zoom it out a bit. Okay, what names do we have here? We have Bangalore, Bangalore. Please forgive my pronunciation. We have Kochi, Chennai, Madurai. Okay, Bangalore comes twice out here. So what you can do in here is put it inside a set so that it removes all the double recommendations and gives you the single ones. Okay, just put it in a set. I'm sure you can do that. So Bangalore, Kochi, Kannur, Chennai. Let's go and check. Is it there? Okay, Hyderabad is somewhere right out here. However, we do see the names. We have Bangalore. 
we have chennai we have kanur we also have kochi we also have madurai all of these situated quite close to each other and and hyderabad is somewhere pretty close around here yeah so yes and i can now say with positive with utter positivity that yes our recommendation system is working so i hope you all like this i hope this was a little practical based yet giving us some theory ideas as to how we could perform our recommendation system and again i hope you all liked it and bye bye i shall see you all soon